Good morning, church. My name is Prophet Ian Genesis, and I am the lead pastor for Charisma Ministries International in Lusaka, Zambia. My coming here is a very unconventional one. It was very difficult for me to come here, later on step my feet here. Um, something happened in Zambia in 2021. But before I go into what happened in Zambia in 2021, and what has made me today to really make up my mind and come and stand here and speak to you, is what happened on Wednesday. I was seated in that section, and Papa was ministering, and he came to me, and he said, you, come out. And he said to me, everything that you lost is going to be recovered. When you look at me with the eyes of the flesh, I don't think it is possible to know that I have lost anything. When he prophesied to me and he finished prophesying, I went back to my seat. Those that were with me can witness that I could not stand. I started crying. A group of five people came to me surrounding me. Many were congratulating me. They thought I was crying because I was located. But I was crying because of what he said to me. In August 2021, before August 2021, I released a prophecy in Zambia that the current president at that time was going to win the election. I was not just a prophet in Zambia that you can ignore. I was a prophet and even now I'm a prophet and a voice in the country. Politicians were coming to me. Everybody. I had my own TV station on satellite. I was the youngest Zambian preacher to be on satellite. So you can understand the weight of this particular thing that I'm about to say it's very easy for you to say sorry if you are down it's not easy for you to say sorry when God has lifted you and God has taken you to the top I was really really on top things were happening for me until I made the terrible mistake of my life money was coming in into ministry my personal business was flourishing and everything was fine. By all human standing, I was okay. Until Papa released a prophecy and he said, I'm seeing the current president, if he does not clean up his house, he will not return his seat. He demonstrated it, I believe he had a chair and he demonstrated that, that prophecy. I was coming from an environment where, by reason of where God had taken me in ministry, I told myself, there is no father that is greater than me. I told myself that the only difference between me and them is that they started ahead. They have a TV, I have a TV. God is giving me money. God has also given man, them money. So it's just a matter of time. I will reach their level. Pride grew so much in me that I became a demigod to myself. That nobody can, could tell me anything that I would listen to anybody. Papa released a prophecy. And he said what he had said. I received a lot of phone calls that day. Because I was a national voice and there was a prophecy on ground that the president would still retain his seat. You know, and many of you sons that are here, you are some of the people that cause people to fight Papa. I'm coming from an environment where Papa had never offended me. I did not know him on a personal basis. I even have a portrait in my house and Papa is there. I've had that portrait from 2018. It is in my house. 
some of the sons that left Papa spoke a lot of things to my hearing and I despised him for no reason because of what they had said. So immediately he released that prophecy. You know, politicians are all about winning. So most of them were calling me. I'm, when I say I was a voice in Zambia, there is no, no office that I could not call and say I want to enter and the person tells me I am busy. No office. Politicians were calling me. Prophet Joshua Igila has released a prophecy that is contrary to what you have said and the nation has heard what you have said. What is it that you have to say about the prophecy? Something in me was telling me, don't say anything. But the pressure was too much. Coupled with the voices of the sons that had left the ministry and some of my friends, I said I was going to attack him using my platform. I went on my social media platform and I said, who is Joshua Igila? There is nothing he's saying. Every prophecy he has given over this election is fake. He's a fake man of God. You know, you may judge me, you may not understand when you are where people are respecting you and you are under pressure. I was coming from a background where I submitted to a Nigerian man of God and he really crushed my spirit against Nigerian men of God. He fought me left, right and center. He wanted to kill me. So when I was coming out in anger to Papa, it was like everything that that man did to me, I vented it on him. It was a transferred aggression, but on the wrong person. Papa didn't respond to everything I said. You know, I was not just a growing prophet, so bloggers took that news and it went viral. That finally, Prophet Ian Genesis from Zambia has challenged Prophet Igila of his lies. Papa did not respond. 2021 election came. The people around me, they asked me, are you sure your prophecy is going to come to pass? It was at that point, after everything had happened, that the voice of God came to me and told me, you might have been right in what you said, but that is not my current voice. I was afraid. The election came. They announced the election results. And the prophecy of Papa came to pass. I said to myself, well, you cannot judge me based on one prophecy. Everything is fine. You know when you have some money in your account, the ministry is going on. He said, everything is fine. It's okay. People have been calling me a false prophet for a long time. So calling me a false prophet now is something that will not really shake me. Things began to happen to me that I have felt to explain and quantify. After the election, I lost between 70 to 100 ministry partners. I'm not talking about members. I'm talking about partners. 70 to 100 partners in one day. They blocked my number. Nobody wanted to talk to me. These are partners that were giving the ministry not less than a thousand dollars per week not per month you can calculate that by over a hundred people you will understand why i was proud because a lot of people we are humble when we are down but when we get to the top there is a way that ministry and money can do to you that we become completely out of your mind 
I said, well, it's fine. These people have left me. It's okay. I had a business I was doing. It was doing very well. All of a sudden, for the first time in my investment in business, we got less, you know, when you invest, you expect profit. And if you're a good business personality, even when you don't get profit, you, will re you have a return of your investment. For the first time in business, I did not have a return of investment. I made a huge loss. That now started to make me crippled. I have lost partners. My business is not working. I encouraged myself. I didn't think about Papa Igila. I thought it is just a season it will pass I was praying for people that were being blessed but nobody blessed me I prayed for someone they, they had millions and millions and instead of coming to celebrate God they called me a false prophet I, my pain started from there it was in 2021 this a lot of people have never heard about it because as a ministry, we hid it from people. When I was going to Botswana in 2021, we had a meeting in Botswana. On the way to Botswana, I said, we are not going to fly to Botswana. We are going to go by road. In November, on the 21st of November, 2021, I had an accident in Botswana that almost took my life. A truck came and hit the car. And the car, even as I speak now, is still in Botswana, is beyond repair. How we came out of that car, I could not explain. But it didn't come to me that I had spoken against the Lord's anointed. I thought these are just trials that come in ministry and they are going to go. I thought of myself that I have not done anything ritualistic to anger God. So I am on the right track. 2022 came. We, the ministry stopped growing. It started going down. It started going down. I thought as a, an overseer of a ministry, if I built God a church, if there is anything that I have done wrong to God, God will forgive me. We secured the land and we began to build the church. As we built the church, built the church, nothing was working. People will come to me for prayer. God will bless them. God will remember them. But I began to dry up. My family was drying up. Everything about me was trying out. Until one day, I had a revelation. That was the time that Papa was coming to Zambia. I had a revelation. And God told me, go and ask for forgiveness from Joshua Igila, my servant. You spoke against him. I said to myself, it's just an imagination. Papa came to Zambia the first time after the election. I did not go for the meeting. I stayed back home. People close to me were texting me. Go to Papa's meeting. I said, no, 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 no. I can't go. I can't go to that man. That man is fake. Afterwards, Papa left. He came back the second time. Dear beloved, a friend of mine came into the country, flew into the country to come and see Papa. I am the person that drove him to the church. After I drove him to the church, I dropped him at the church and I left. Me that God told to go and ask for forgiveness. I thought I was too big to go and ask for forgiveness. I said, I will not go. Papa left Zambia and he came to Nigeria. Things around me were drying up. I was no longer the same. 
when you look at the outward appearance, people were celebrating. Oh, Prophet Genesis has built a church. Oh, Prophet Genesis is still okay. I was not okay. I was now using my personal assets, sell them to finance the ministry. A ministry that was self-sufficient, that did not need me to put money in it. And I began to do that. When my assets were now done, and the ministry now began to struggle, I went into prayer and I asked God, where did I go wrong? And God said, go to my servant, Joshua Ikila. I went on my Facebook because I was struggling now. I went to my Facebook. I opened my Facebook. But before that, even the day I spoke against our father, my wife came to my room and said, you have made a terrible mistake. I told her, my name is Ian Genesis and I'm a national prophet. I don't make a mistake. My wife told me, you have made a terrible mistake. I told my wife, I'm going on my social media. I want to apologize to the man of God. My wife was very excited, very happy. When I apologize on social media, that is not what God said. God did not say, go to Facebook and apologize. I thought because I use Facebook, I can go to the same medium and apologize. God said, no. I secured my ticket. Many people, when you apologize like this, they think maybe Papa has released money so that you can come here and apologize. I paid for my own flight. Come in here. What could have costed me nothing to go into Champions Royal Assembly, Zambia, to apologize, now costed me money to come here. For me to come here, I sold my wife's car. My wife said, you don't have money to go to Nigeria. You can sell my car to come. I came. We got the office. But I didn't know how to say I'm coming to apologize. So I registered myself in the school of the prophets. So, the gravity of what I had done, I knew that somehow there are some people from Champions Royal Assembly that knew what I had done. I expected an atmosphere that was very hostile. I didn't expect when I come, somebody will greet me, somebody will talk to me. From the airport, beloved, Papa sent a good car to come and pick me up. I arrived from the airport. We did all the registration and formalities. On the first day of the school of the prophets, please, I want you to hear me. This may help your life. Especially for those that are praying for the grace upon Papa to take you to the top. When you go to the top, please don't be tempted to scandalize the man that took you to the top. The first day of the sons of the prophet, Papa came in and he was teaching. In my heart, I thought, this man will recognize me and his face is going to change. I didn't understand. The man was speaking with love. He said something. Some of you might have of hated people not based on what they did to you but because of what you say what you heard about them and that was 100 percent my story immediately he said that an enlightenment came to me i said i don't need to meet this man of god one-on-one -on -one. by what he is saying he is a true man of god I 
I went to the bookshop. I bought all the books that Papa has ever written because I want to learn from him. You can now understand why when he said everything that you, that prophecy might not be accurate to all of us. You might look at me and say, what can this young boy lose? That prophecy carried the weight of my life. I came here for restoration. Papa said, in six months, there shall be restoration. Papa, please. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me. Take me as your son. I don't want my ministry to die. Come. You have done what other sons will never do. You are indeed a broken man. I want to tell you I love you. Here you find a father and we will stand by you. In Zambia, Prophet Genesis is my son. Support him. Stand by him. See, you are a genuine prophet, a born prophet. God just used this to teach you a lesson of humility. And I want to tell you, thank you for being humble. This is what most sons will not do. You have done well. I sense it in my spirit when you are talking. It's not eye service. It's not lip service. Thank you for doing this. It's not about you. It's about many out there that God wants you to restore. They might not be to me, but to other fathers. You have indeed done nobly well. And I want to thank your wife for being a good wife. You know, last month, I apologized to all my sons. Not that I've done wrong. And I said it's about the kingdom. And I thank you. You've done well. Zambians, a prophet, he and Genesis have offended you people. Forgive him. If me, your father, has forgiven him, you have no right. And all your sons and daughters who have left you, like the Lord said, they're coming back. He will overturn, overturn, and overturn, and overturn. Bring me the oil. Let me anoint him today. There were 43 angels that were working with you in your assignment. You lost them, but they are back right now. Leko shada bushiada. Pick him up. Leko paradisutia. Pick him up. Leko sia. Bring him. Grace. Grace. All that you have lost, come back. Partners back. Members back. Joy back. Grace back. Finance back. Right now, overthink. And go and succeed. God bless you.